Hello ladies and gentlemen, how are you today? Today we're going to be reviewing three movies from uh, 2023 that I had watched. And the first one is going to be, as you can see, Scream 6. It happened in New York. Um, they filmed it in New York, you know, on the train and everything. And I thought it was going to be great, you know, turn out great and, and all this stuff. But the original cast of Scream, you know, was good. You know, they were great actors and they, they did their thing. They played their part very good, very believable and stuff like that. But as time goes on, and they keep um, doing these sequels, these uh, for the franchise, you know, I I try to see, you know, all the horrors that I can movies because you know I like it. Um, they're kind of fun, comical to watch, and things like that. Um, but this one, basically, they got new characters that that are in there, and this. The same storylines, basically, you know, you have a couple of people that are, that are in the uh, ghost face costume and stuff like that, and they're going around killing the people that, you know, they know, and it's just like uh, copycats, you know, it, 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 and it's like over and over again, you know, so to me, this movie... You know, I'm going to give it a thumbs down because uh, it's it's like the same thing over and over again already. You know, you got these copycats that, that are obsessed with the ghost face and they're doing these these murderings and to the people that they know and stuff like that. And, hey, you know, if you can make, keep making money off it and keep milking it, good for you, but... I think if they do a Scream 7, they should just end the franchise already because it it's just getting to be like, you could, you could find out because they give you like these little clues of uh, like what character will talk about things and this and that. And you could eventually figure out who is behind the mask. That's what, that's the point it gotten to already. It's like, uh, you know, halfway through the movie, I, I already know, I figured out who the killer's going to be. You know what I mean? So, let's get to the next movie. So, jumping into right the, to the second movie is, uh, of course, The Black Panther 2. Wakanda. Forever. And, um... Yeah, this movie, I was very surprised, you know, I, I thought that, you know, the first one, of course, was great, and you know what, the second one, they did it, you know, the second one, they really, really um, stepped up, um, it was amazing, you know, uh, very surprising, and good, very good, they, they did an excellent job. I really like this movie. Um, they stepped up, you know. So the second one is, I would say, equal to the first one. You know, I wouldn't say better than the first one, but I say it's equal to the first one. And uh, they really did great. Um, they continued from the first one, and it was just amazing. It was, it was a great movie. So Black Panther 2, I give you a thumbs up. Let's get to the third movie. All right, so this is the third movie that I had watched, uh, Avatar 2, The Way of the Water. Uh, this is beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, Avatar 1, I believe, was a lot better. Um, Avatar, Avatar 2, I, um, it got to the point where I'm looking at this thing, and it, it, to me it was like dragging on, you know. 
when they had the fight scene in the water, uh, it became like, you know, it, a lot of things were happening too quick in the water, back and forth with the fighting and stuff like that. And it was like, at one point, you didn't know who were the, who were the bad guys, who were the good guys at one point, you know. Because um, there was just a lot of action, but mostly in the water. And, and to me, it just dragged on. It became a little too long, you know. The first one I liked a lot. Um, you know, if you want to keep your kids entertained or whatever the case is, you can take them to watch it, you know. Maybe they'll fall asleep on it, you know. So Avatar 2, I give you a thumbs down. 2023, they spend millions and millions of dollars, uh, you know, on doing these movies. And uh, very few of them are, to me, uh, are, are, are good, you know, I consider. Um, of course, you're going to make a lot of money on these sequels and things like that because people want to see what it's about and stuff like that. But... You know, it comes to the point you're spending a lot of money, like say fifty million, uh, to do the picture, and uh, it just, you know, I'm not gonna buy this thing on 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 Blu-ray or DVD or anything like that, and put it into my collection, because to me it was it was kind of like the first one, but this was. It was uh, dragging on too much, you know, with the fighting in the water and stuff like that with these blue people. And, uh, you know, it's these these movies. It's it's like, you know, I, I did my movie, which you see, I'm wearing the T-shirt, Kung Fu Mobsters, right? It's this first one. It's only an hour long. It's on DVD. I'm selling them for nineteen ninety nine. If if you feel that you know you don't have uh, you know enough money or whatever the case is, and you, and if you do want to watch it, uh, you know we could talk about the price. I could bring the price down for you. Um, you could pick it up, Kung Fu Mobsters. Uh, at uh, jem one nine six eight six eight at yahoo dot com. That's jem one nine six eight six eight at yahoo dot com. And I'm I'm trying to basically, you know, I love martial arts, um, and a lot of people, a lot of friends of mine that do martial arts, you know, I I put this out there. For them, you know, this is the first one that's going to tell the story. It's going to introduce you to the characters. It's, you know, there is fighting in it and things like that. Um, the second one is going to be stepped up. It's going to be called Ghost in Shadows. It's going to be filmed in Florida. It's going to be stepped up. You know, I have to raise money so I could bring, you know, at least eight of my actors from New York down here so we could get started on it. You know, and that costs a lot of money, you know. So, like I said, we, we could talk more about this on, on my, uh, you could email me a message. And you could help me out and support, you know, support the movie, you know. I sold for nineteen ninety nine, and I could bring the price down to nine ninety nine, you know. But you remember, I got to pay, you know, to ship it to you and stuff like that. So, you know, and, and it's it's comical. It's called Kung Fu Mobsters. And it's pretty funny. You know, it's got a lot of uh, funny things going on. And like I said, it tells a story, introduces the characters, because this is the first one of many sequels of it. And I am pursuing this, you know, and nothing's going to stop me. Nothing's going to get in my way, you know. And uh, that's about it, you know. Um, so I'm going to be reviewing, uh, give you the review on Creed 3 tomorrow and also John Wick 4. 
So everybody, you have a great day. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Love you. Peace.